All right. That's right. If I rule the world. Right, let's kick it right there. Pump that shit, man. Okay. Yeah. Charles Tyler, back at the Charles Tyler Show. All right, right back on YouTube again. Oh, man, yeah, we are back in the game, right back at the Black Man's Option right here on the Charles Tyler Show. Man, we're going to turn it down a little bit. My man Curtis Blow from back in the 1984 from the movie. I think that was from the movie. Um, oh, God, it was Crush Groove. Yeah, man. That's the shot, man. That's when rap, that's when you had to have talent to be a rapper. Okay, but today we don't have to have talent no more. You know, a la Kanye West. Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to talk to, I want to talk tonight about a video effect, a video I saw on YouTube. Also, a video that I also saw from Shira from uh, um, Shira Seven, you know me and her. She's kind of like my arch rival in the game, you know, if you will. But I heard this from a young man. I think his name was um, Jim One Two Three. He was um, putting out a response towards um, my uh, towards frustrated, frustrated black men in Brazil. You know. Basically, a movie, docu movie documentary that basically sent me to Brazil and sent a lot of other brothers to Brazil, too, as well. And this young man, I have to say he's a young man because I don't think he's he's mature enough the way he was acting and acting real immature throughout the whole video he was doing. Not to mention, he didn't even show his face, you know, throughout the whole video. It was like he it was a dark video and, oh, I got to make a video to talk about this and all this other and it was it was some real kid stuff, you know, some real. He had a nerve to talk about high school. Get the he was talking, he was acting like a high schooler himself, you know, you know. Because one thing I've always say is grown men don't sit up here and talk about other grown men, especially where they go and handle their personal business and everything like that. But um, this young man, he was just really going off, man, really going buck wild, saying that brothers who travel to Brazil or travel abroad in general, you know, they they hope they're hopeless here in the U.S. They can't get themselves a woman. And, you know, the typical st stuff that I mainly hear from females here, mainly the agent AAWs here back here in the U.S., here in the Matrix. And, you know, it was very disappointing to hear uh, this young man say it because what he was saying basically is that um, the typical crabs in the barrel mentality, you know, that he doesn't, if he sees a brother here, from the U.S. abroad, make like Brazil, like um, Colombia, like even the DR too, all right, and you see him happy. Now, as you can see in these pictures right here, you see a lot of brothers that I know. Most of these brothers are from my Facebook group, and these are brothers who are with married. Most of them are all married to either Brazilians or women abroad, okay? And these brothers, when I see their pictures, I see a lot of a lot of happiness. It's like they were missing something and they found it, and they're happy, all right? So when I hear this young man talk about brothers who travel to Brazil and say, oh, man, those guys are losers. They're stupid. Stupid. That's all he said throughout the whole thing. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So, you know, what's sad is that he's pretty stupid, pretty small-minded, all right, um, because he sits up here and he say, he say he took the, he say claims that he took the movie and he showed it to some of his friends, okay, and he says his friends were foreign and all this other stuff. And what I noticed that he didn't say is that he's traveled to these countries. 
He's seen, the, oh, it's all fake, it's phony. These girls only want you for your money, this and that. You know, they only want a green card. The typical stuff that you would hear from Agent AAW is coming out this young man's uh, mouth. And it's sad to say is that this young man will probably never travel. All right, because he thinks that here in the Matrix USA is all he needs. And all the women here is what is good for an American man. Well, see, you as a man, a man in general, you have the right to travel the world. Why limit yourself to just the U.S.? Now, you, uh, he also said, oh, the guys here can't get no woman in the U.S. Well, I've been, uh, I've been in the U.S., before I, yeah, you know, before I started traveling, you know, at that point, 36 years. All right, you know, you know, I'm in my 40s now, but I travel all over this country, and I've been with a lot of American women. Getting women here in the U.S. that's not a problem. Getting quality is the problem. Okay. Getting good quality black women here in the U.S. is is real, real hard. Now, I love black women, okay? I want to make that clear. I love black women. My mother's black, my sisters are black, and my children are black, okay? There ain't no mixed up things here. But here in the Matrix, we are brainwashed to think that the United States owns the patent on being black outside of Africa. With Central America and South America are the most black Afrocentric regions outside of Africa on this side of the Americas. Brazil alone, I said this several times in my videos, is 51% black. If anything, Brazilians can say that we're not black. Africans have been saying it all the while. That's the divide of white supremacy right there that has definitely brainwashed Afro-Americans, except for this one right here. All right. I'm, <laughs> I know the deal. All right. And what I see here in these pictures and everything like that with my brothers here and, the, and my Afro-Brazilian sisters is that these women are black. Okay. They're from a different region of the world. But they're just as black as we are here in the U.S. They're mixed up, too. They're products of slavery, too. They have a slavery history. In fact, I've said it before. The transatlantic slave trade came through Brazil, then up to the United States. Okay? Afro-Brazilians were the first ones to get off the boat. That's the only difference between us and them. We were the last. Okay? So... Like I said, I know a lot of brothers, as you can see in these pictures here, including myself, okay, all right there, who have gone to Brazil and found happiness. Well, what's wrong with being happy? What's wrong with finding a fine Brazilian woman and being happy with her? Why has always got to be an agenda? See, in America, there's always an agenda. So, of course, when we travel outside of America, we think, okay, we're just going down there to, for more agendas. We're coming down there for sex. They come in to us for money in the green card. Most of the Brazilian women that I know don't even want to come to the U.S. Okay? It's nice. Nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. That's their mindset. Okay, where their culture is something that very attractive to African American men, idea for African American men. Okay, I say that Afro Brazilian women are the attraction to Brazil, but the culture is what keeps you. Okay, all right, all right, I'm a melanated person. All right, I like being melanated climates. Okay, that does wonders for my body. Okay, and at my age these days, you can try your best to make sure that you are in good health. So, going back to my young man here, it's real sad, young man, whoever you are, uh, what's 
I don't want to. I'm gonna give you a little bit of 15 minutes of fame. I already didn't see the numbers. Not that good. But anyway, um, what's it? Chim, Chim, one, two, three, whatever. Anyway, this is the Charles Tyler Show talking at you, brother. And it's real shame that you are so young and yet so close-minded. Okay. All right. That you have to go and make up a video dissing. At dissing um, frustrated black men, all right, and in the process also dissing my director and friend Al Griggs, all right. You know, see the thing about it, son, is what I would like to ask you is, why don't you travel to Brazil? Why don't you get a passport and get a visa and get on a plane and find out why men are traveling to this country? Or traveling abroad in general. Don't go ask your friends, your so-called friends. Oh, I just t told my friends I showed them this picture and they thought it was stupid. <laughs> That's stupid, bro. That's as far as you go, man. Don't act like a female, bro. Get on the plane and find out. And if you don't know, always, I always got this saying and here it is again. Never, never assume. Always know. And if you don't know, you find out. Okay? Don't go make some video up about a country you never been to, about men that you never met. Okay? And you all and all your whole information came with a 47-minute um documentary. Come on, bro. Step your game up, bro. And to the brothers out here who have traveled to Brazil. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, y'all know the deal. Y'all know that it's more, at least after your first, maybe second trip, you find out very fast that it's more than the women. The women are, you know, like, let's be real. Men go to war for women, all right, throughout our whole history, all right? But it's the culture of Brazil, in my opinion, that keeps you in Brazil, that may keep you in Colombia, that may keep you, and even in the DR, okay? But we can't let the, the uh, matrix mindset, the crabs in the barrel mindset, okay, hold us all back. You got brothers here that are literally saying that the U.S. is a good thing for black people. Lately, U.S. ain't been, well, for a very long time, probably 450 years, the U.S. ain't been a good thing for black people. Okay. All right. You know. I'm leaving this country because I'm leaving it not just women issues or anything like that, which I, you know, I choose not to date African-American women. That doesn't mean I hate African-American women. All right. I just choose, I hate what they do. I don't hate them. Okay. I choose not to no longer deal with them. That doesn't make me a simp. That doesn't make me. So the damn sure don't make it, well, well, you can't get no woman up here. That's usually the always the typical response. At least be right about it. Okay? Getting women in the U.S., huh? Like I said, it's more along the lines of, of quality, not quantity. Okay? Getting women in the U.S., that's easy. Getting good women, no, but well, now, now we got a problem. All right, especially the way the system is designed here in the U.S., where the woman is favored. A black, especially if you're black. If you're a black man, the system is designed for the black woman to be over you, and it doesn't work that way. Feminality has destroyed the African American family. Okay, and a lot of us can agree to that. All right, facts are facts. Why are African American women the most likely demographic not to get married? Check the facts. 71% single and growing. Okay. There's something wrong here. All right. But me, at my age, in my time, I can't have time to figure it out. That's why I'm in Brazil. And that's why I do the videos I do. And that's why the black man's option is here. Okay. You know, 
uh, Shira Seven recently also posted a video, and me and her, we've gone at it back and forth many a times. But once again, a woman who's never been to Brazil, all right, and um, all she do is assume, but that's what women do. I expect it from her, all right. She's busy saying, oh, brothers, these women only want you for your money. These women only want you because of a green card. When it's so far from the truth. Okay. It is, I mean, at least know what you're talking about. You know, and like I said, girl, women like her, you know, typical responses is always the same, you know. Yeah, oh, I got me a good man, and y'all you know, y'all run off to another country trying to be happy with something, you know, that y'all can't find here. Well, what women like her fail to realize is that maybe it was meant for me to travel and find a woman elsewhere and not here in the U.S., Okay. I'm grateful that my ex didn't take my my wedding proposal, okay, all right, because I never would have came to Brazil if she, if she did, okay, and I'm grateful for all the bad relationships that I might even had up here in the U.S. because it's led me right here to Brazil and it's led me into a lot of good situations, okay, and it led me to people like the people you may see here in these pictures, right, who are having good lives. They had to travel far in order to do it. These brothers right here, they, they took the extra step to get their passports and their visas and look where it has gotten them, okay? Beautiful young women that love them for them, not for a green card, not for money, okay? What I've learned from Brazilian women is that if they love you, they will build with you. All right? Because there's a major need for Afro-American men in Brazil because Afro-American women like us here in the U.S. at the bottom of the barrel, they also at the bottom of the barrel there. Okay? That's why I say Afro-Brazilian women are the perfect combination for African-American men. Okay? It, it, it's, it's like the perfect match. You know, and people need to stop listening to Shira Seven. She's never been to Brazil. All she does is, oh, well, I listen to my Brazilian girlfriends who are Americanized. They're damaged goods now. They've been here in the U.S. too long, you know. Or even this young man uh, named uh, Chim123, a guy who's I can really tell he's very got a lot. Of, he's got a lot to grow on. Uh, he's a very young, immature man. He needs to be a boy. And he needs to grow up before he starts disrespecting his elders, okay, on YouTube. Okay. He needs to go join my Facebook group, Afro-American Men versus Afro-Brazilian Women Would You Date, all right, and find out what we're talking about. You know, find out why we're making our moves. I've even seen posts in, inside my Facebook group, right, from guys from Germany trying to tell us about, oh, y'all, bashing American women and traveling to Brazil. It's not about bashing American women. Okay? It's not about. I even allow African American women in my group just so they can see why and where we're going. So maybe, just maybe, they will come back and they will try to say, tell their girlfriends, this feminine shit ain't working. We're losing our men. We were tricked. Okay? Our men been telling us what, to, telling us the secret from day one, and we're losing them, okay? Because we're not listening to them. We up there listening to their, our white daddies here in the United States, who got us on welfare, who got us on Section Eight, okay? Who got us taking on, I mean, taking jobs while the other, while the black man is not getting a job, and we think that that's pushing us ahead. No, it's pushing us apart. Okay, you know, and black men, good black men are tired of it, all right, 
black women out here who are making bad decisions in relationships, leaving good men, okay, for hood rat criminals, all right? Black women who have been completely tricked by the system, all right? And when I say black women, I mean African-American women, all right? Because when I go to Brazil, I'm with a black woman, okay? You know, an Afro-Brazilian woman, okay? You don't see me with white. You always see me with chocolate or brown, okay? And I'm going to keep it that way, always, you know, but the reason why I let African-American women in my group is because I want them to see. And just maybe they'll wise up. Okay? Just maybe. I doubt it, but just maybe. There's a little hope always. You know, but I'm just hoping that young men out here, okay, whether in the U.S. or in the U.K., can take the opportunity and travel to Brazil, travel to Colombia, all right, and maybe find their future wife, okay? Take a chance and then, or also even get caught in the culture. I fell in love with Brazil's culture, okay? All right, and hopefully by the end of this year, I'll be living there full time, okay? So, because I just want brothers to know that there's always an option out here. That's why the black man's option exists, all right? You may think you don't have it the way you want it here in the U.S. or in the U.K. There's always other places you can go to in the world. The world is bigger than the U.S. and the U.K. We are living in a modern era. Where the internet tech now internet um, the internet technology can get us to see the world just by a computer screen. Okay, the next step is to get an airline ticket and a visa and a passport and see the world in person. Okay, all right. A lot of guys busy see a lot of guys come to my group and just watch pictures all day of pretty women. That's nice. Yeah. But me, myself, I like having women, pretty women in my arms. All right? And maybe even my future wife, too, as well. Like a lot of these brothers here in these pictures have done. All right? To the brothers in these pictures who have gone on and did that extra step and have married, you know, Brazilian women or Colombian women or Dominican women, I, can, I commend you and I congratulate you. And I wish you the best of love always. Okay. All right. And to the brothers out here who haven't done that move, here it is. Join the Afro-American men versus Afro-Brazilian women would you date Facebook group today. All right. Get the information. We're having beach parties this year. Our, our, our third annual beach party is coming up in November. We also have a couple other events going on. A whole lot of stuff is going on. Also, we have we have um, Blog Talk Radio every Wednesday night, the Charles Tyler Show. All right, every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay, you can find that in our Facebook groups and our listings, and as well too as um, as we go on. I'm going to leave a link here in the subscription box for our Facebook group. Also, I'm going to leave a link for our dating site. All right, now our Brazilian dating site. You can join for free, all right? It's your option whether you want to continue to pay, but you can join for free. I'm going to leave that link also in the subscription box below, too, as well. All right, it's always good to get to know a woman before you get to Brazil, all right? And this is a way to get started. This is Charles Tyler at the, at the Charles Tyler Show right here on YouTube. Oh, my God, we got the computer love thing going on. Yep, that's how it starts off. With computer love first, and then you get reality love. This is Charles Tyler signing off from the Charles Tyler Show. Peace out, brothers.